So on our drive out to Lime Rock, it was funny because Jackson's like looking at the maps, he's like, oh, like we're right by Devin's shop. So our boy Devin who helped us build the Frontier last year, he's out here in New York. So we hit him up, got the address, swoop by, and check out this rig, dude. So cool. He's got so many rad projects out here. So we uh, swung by to check out Hood Built. Devin has a rad little spot out here. Killer fabricator, doing all kinds of cool, fun little truck builds. Does a lot of like four links on old hot rods, old trucks, doing like suspension swaps, doing airbags and, and all that kind of just rad, rad type build. So, you know, we got an old 250 here and this is his first car, which is a Pontiac Catalina, body dropped, airbagged. It's got a built motor, makes like 450 foot pounds. Just a lot, a lot of cool stuff. So let's check out the space. to get it like driving down the road yeah <laughs> you know? a little bit higher yeah, than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just maybe a, a touch yeah. just enough for like a leaf just to a go little under. bit of daylight showing underneath yeah it's so rad so you yeah, say you well, took like, the whole floor out of this one yeah so i, I channeled the whole body <clears> up <throat> three inches dang um yeah so i pretty much That's... you know set the body lower on the frame yeah three inches i cut the pinch weld off and like re-welded it from the inside wow um you know, the motors and trans pans sit like a little bit higher than the frame, um, you know, so it can drive pretty low. So sick. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> to the hip. Crazy. Uh, and that's kind of thing for sick old trucks, dude. Yeah, I love my trucks. <laughs> they are uh, cool. Dually, I made, I made the beadlock wheels for this. Um, it what? Has, it has dually Wait. beadlocks. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you made it. Yeah, yeah, I made the beadlocks. Um, How'd you do that? And I, I made a dually beadlock too that's sitting in the Three middle. quarter thick with holes. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Where's the rears? Uh, I have. Here's one of the rears. Oh, that's pretty deep in there. That is sick. Very cool, dude. So we're just about to pull into Lime Rock and we come around the corner and see this rad little mobile oil spot. Look at this. Look at all this cool old Mobile One branding and such. So rad. So cool. Guess what? Did you pass it? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna reverse down this road. Yeah. <laughs> no. We get to see the sign again. Yee. Oh, hey, look, cool oh, hey, oh, look, oh, there's cool a little sign. red arrow. Oh, there it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn oh, left. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. All right, so this weekend, it's going to be super awesome, super excited. This is our first weekend racing in the Rush series. We got Rapscallion brought out this amazing Rush car for us. It's all built, prepped, ready to go. And thanks to Sunoco and with the help of my boy Nate, we got this car here. Got the whole team out here. Nate's car, my car, our drift cars. This is sick. This is super sick. And then Sheldon, that's the third car, is gonna be racing with us. He is uh, super fast. He's the guy that we did our testing with out in Dallas. So just super pumped. Car's looking good. Nate's car is ready to go. Rush cars are ready to go. We're gonna go knock out a little sunset photo shoot with some rollers. And yeah, man, this is it. This is, uh, you know, first race to grid life they've ever done. So this is a really, really cool experience. And I can't thank these guys enough for making it happen.
So we went over a little data with um, uh, one of the fast guys who actually helped design these cars and uh, kind of helped me to have a better understanding on where we could pick up some speed, like just which gives me like the confidence of like, hey, it will stick, you know? And so uh, with doing that, I was like, I actually pulled out into uh, qualifying in front of Nate and I actually waved him by. I was like, you lead, I'll follow you. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. I got a 57-1. Yeah. What'd you get? 57-1. Yeah. I beat you by, I beat you by like a squid. Yeah. 57-1-4 for Chris. 57-1-9 for me. 57-2-1. So. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. my worst fear has happened. <laughs> On the first quality, Chris has out-qualified me. I'm like a 10. A 10. Maybe a 10. So Maybe I less than. I got to commit. So we're going to move into the race number one after this. Actually, he's like 600. He's a 600 <laughs> of a 10 faster than me. I better I better run that floorboard. Dude. That was so sick, dude. Did you see me run the out of exit of two? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went rumble strip, oh. dirt. Same thing behind Did you? <laughs> yeah, because I'm following your line. Oh my god, dude. We're going to dress. How do you go? How do you get to go every event? Because I'm special. You're welcome, Katie. You're welcome for my chickenness. Yeah, brother. We got a grid to go over here, Greg, and Chris Forsberg making his Rush SR debut. Grid Life's Rush SR series takes to Lime Rock Park for the first time on the front straightaway, waiting for the green flag to fly. Nine rows of race cars getting ready to take the green at Grid Life Circuit Legends. Here we go. Packed up, paired up, 18 cars deep. 
Green flag, we're racing in Rush SR at Grid Life Circuit Legends. Chris into this car. They did a test day a couple of weeks ago. Chris is having the time of his life in this thing. And right now inside the top 10 as they climb the uphill. Rush SR Race 1 treated us to some amazing action <laughs> yes, earlier did. today, didn't it? And Race 2 here is going to set us up for more of that. <laughs> Keeping my eyes on Hamilton and Forsberg. Here they are, the Team Rap Scallion cars. Sunoco livery machines, <laughs> both drift co drivers from their past, but today they're racing. And here's Forsberg all over Nate Hamilton for nine. Yeah, he is giving it some serious welly here, and he's looking for a way through. And uh, great looking cars, aren't they? Uh, with that graphics package, and they are being driven exceptionally well. And you can see there where Hamilton just was better from the midpoint of Big Bend into the transition for the left-hander. And that's the thing, you you know find yourself that little spot where you can gap them by a couple of the car lengths. That'll pay big dividends, but just that quick, then Forsberg gets right back onto his six. It's so much fun because while they don't necessarily have a ton of wheel-to-wheel -wheel road racing experience, it, you know, Nate Hamilton had none. It still is uh, a learning experience for both of them. And to, to watch drivers from a completely different sector of motorsports be able to do this so well, this is what grid life is all about. It's, you know, the inclusion of motorsports. Doesn't matter if it's drift, DE, time attack, you know, side-by-side -side racing here between two drift buddies. Here comes Forsberg down the inside. Two Hamilton crosses him over. <laughs> ah. Oh, that was beautiful. The inside to the outside. And that Hamilton just showed patience there, didn't he? He saw Forsberg make the move. He said, I'm just going to wait, and there he goes. That was unbelievable, and I don't think we're done just yet. No. Forsberg, he learned something there. You bet he did. You can break late, just maybe not that much. Not quite there. He got it slowed down, kept it on the course, though, and that, that can be very useful to know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, bro, whoop, whoop, and yeah. then I see tire smoke, I 
have the inside line. I did two over unders on turn one, and then the third time, we finally like break the He's like, no, bro. I I break I break a little early just to hold the spot, and we just like stayed real inside, and I had to drive out. That was so sick. Are you tight? Huh? Are you tight? A little bit. I'm tight. That was so sick. That was so fun, dude. Uh, so we just finished the race two, last race of the day on Friday. It was awesome. Like, Nate pulled me in the beginning and I reined it back in. I pulled him at the end and so it was just killer racing. These two cars just going back to back for like five laps straight. So it's going to make for some awesome content. I'm having a blast. So that's the end of day one. We'll be back for day two tomorrow. Come on, brother. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Not bad. Mars. I'll take it. Earth again. Earth, yeah. It's so weird that we're just talking about this, like last, like last week. week we were. What even brought this up? Come on. Not bad. You gotta hit it harder though. That's oh, what yeah. you said. But you have to hit it late. It's it's steady. Yeah, it's one motion. No, that's too slow of a start. All right. Fine, you go, fancy pants. <laughs> I, I already got Saturn second try. Prove it. Oh, the internet didn't see it. Oh, no, they didn't. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I saw that one. <laughs> back to back Saturn, not a fluke. Four Saturns, okay? Not hey, bad. Four Saturns adds up to two Plutos, so. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Mars it is, Cam. Mars it is. Going to Mars. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got, Jackson. What I got is not good, but I'm gonna give you a couple hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really good You're at nailing this. it. <laughs> I'm. I got good. Come on, brother. Really good reaction. Give me time. a good one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Earth. Earth. <laughs> That was wicked! <laughs>